In this video, we're going to cover two major topics. First, we'll discuss how to version a document and what versioning does. Next, we'll talk about building reusable document templates. To version a document, simply click on the version button and create a version. You can name the version, whatever it is that you like. If you have comments you would like to include, you can add them here. With Smart Docs, you can create multiple versions of your documents. You can open up those versions and also delete them. Now let's return to our document and make some changes. We can reorder work items by simply dragging and dropping them into different locations in the document. So I'll continue to reorder some of these work items. And the next thing that we'll do here is open the Smart Editor to make changes to these work items. Here, I'll adjust the title. Then I'll make a change to the description, save and close and do this for a few more work items. I'm just adding additional details and making some edits here. We'll add a table next. I will go ahead and add another section here called the overview and add some more details. We will continue making some changes to a few more work items here, removing some information and adding some information. The next thing that we will do is compare these different versions. We can do that by going to the Compare tab. Currently we are comparing it to the current version. So we'll select the version that we would like to do the comparison against and select it. And here you go. You can easily see the changes that have been made here, as the document is in its red line view. We're currently looking at the outline version of this document. We can turn on the document view and see what changes have taken place here more clearly. As we shift gears into the next part of our tutorial, I'll go ahead and turn the document view off and switch from the Compare tab to the Document tab. Now let's talk about how to create a reusable document template. So, what's the difference between a meta template and a document template? While a meta template creates a structure for the document, the document template retains both the structure and the content. For example, if you've built a business requirements document with an introduction, purpose, overview, etc., you may want to keep that structure so that anyone who is building a BRD can start with this content and structure right from the beginning. Before I go ahead and save this as a reusable document template, I'd like to remove some of the work items. So I click on this button here to remove the work items from the document. Please note that this does not remove the work items from Azure DevOps. It only removes those work items from the document. Next, I will click on the ellipsis dots. Then, I will save as template. I can give this template a name. Once it's saved, in order for me to use it, I will come back to the main page of Smart Docs and create a new Smart Doc. I'll give this new one a name. Then you can go ahead and select the document template that was just created. Once you click OK, you will see that a brand new Smart Doc has been created with brand new work item IDs. We'll go to the right panel here and select column options to turn on the work item type column. Now, we can see our work item types in the document. And if we go to the previous document, you can see that all of these work item IDs are different. So you see how both the structure and the content have been retained in this new document. In this video, we discussed how to version our documents, how to compare different versions to each other, and how to create a reusable document template. In the next video, we'll dive into how you can build your documents using Copilot for DevOps Plus, which is the AI assistant that supercharges requirements management. Thank you so much for watching.